Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onna, keeping an eye on the weather across the Mid-South throughout the rest of the weekend. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. If you're heading out to Graceland this afternoon or this evening, it looks pretty nice for right now. Temperatures back in the mid-70s as we record this forecast and not doing too bad out there as we get in the crowds for the rest of Elvis week. So if you have any plans to head out to Graceland or for the rest of the Mid-South or whatever it is you may be doing, take the umbrella with you because even though we don't have too much rainfall happening right now, we will be looking for more chances of rainfall coming our way. Thanks to this storm system over the northern rim of the Gulf of Mexico, this is going to be sending a lot of moisture north and into the Mid-South area. As we see a few showers early this morning, that will be increasing throughout the rest of the day today, especially west of the Mississippi River and into around areas west of Memphis, Tennessee. West Tennessee, northern Mississippi, probably not picking up too much just yet, but later this afternoon, good possibility of seeing some more activity in the way of showers or thunderstorms, some of which could be on the heavy side for rainfall purposes. Severe weather doesn't look to be a major threat at this time, but we will be watching a lot more of this rain making its way into the Mid-South. Flash flood watch has been canceled for the Boot Heel of Missouri, so if you're heading through that area, it doesn't look like too much of a threat, but wherever you see these green counties, that is again where we see from north central Arkansas all the way back up into around portions of Pennsylvania this morning, we are looking at the possibility of of flash flooding. So remember, turn around, don't drown, never drive through water-covered roadways. We'll keep you updated on the threat for this coming up throughout the rest of the morning and this afternoon. You can see those flash flood watches in effect for areas of northeastern Arkansas, not including any part of the News Channel 3 viewing area, so good news on that. But if you are planning on traveling throughout any of these locations, please keep in mind that this could be a dangerous thing out there. Chances for showers in the Mid-South is not really looking at all that much. A few scattered showers over East Central Arkansas by the time we record this early on Sunday morning. More activity into North Central Arkansas, north of I-40, and back into Southeast Missouri. Again, that could be where we see most of the problems coming our way throughout the next few days. 120, the national high temperature for the continental United States in Death Valley, California. California. By comparison, 30 degrees cooler in Memphis, so it was hot, but it definitely wasn't as hot as it could be across the United States, and thankful for that. Our exclusive and tongue firmly in cheek cough temp decks, our coffee temperature recommendation index for Sunday. Definitely want to chill it down, but remember this is your responsibility. If you get burned by hot coffee or get a brain freeze, that's entirely your fault, not ours, because you weren't checking the coffee where you were at. I have no idea what it looks like when you're there, so that's entirely up to you. 39 days and counting and just a little bit of a change over that as we get into the rest of the next several days and we'll should be seeing hopefully some cooling off but that usually doesn't occur until late September early October we can be in the 90s easily enough into around October as of right now looking at 39 days and change out there Crosby Hall construction cam still having some issues with connection there and Collierville Tennessee getting some sunshine in there from Tim B's webcam around there. Senatobia, Mississippi, more clouds than a crew on Ranger 2015's webcam from the Weather Underground Network and seeing some clouds here and there. A little bit more rainfall more than anything else would be nice to kind of tamp down any fire danger, which is already on the low side, but for burn bans at this time, we're just not seeing anything in the way of major problems. Tennessee does not issue, but only does so on an extraordinary basis, so if you have any plans to burn anything in the way of rubbish or garbage or yard waste or anything thing like that. Uh, I definitely want to check ahead and see if everything is going okay on that, but as of right now, again, something to think about contacting the local uh, forestry division to make certain that they have approved of that and that there are no burn bans for your particular city or county. Again, this is being safe as we make certain everybody stays safe out there during fire season as we get into the latter portion of summer. No earthquakes to report in the last 24 hours according to the Center for Earthquake Research and Information and the United States Geological Survey. UV forecast, ultraviolet radiation, low but not as low as it could be, about a 4 for later on today and also looking at a 4 for Monday as we get in some sunshine but mainly just cloud cover out across the Mid-South. Sun in the Mid-South area, sunrise at 619, give or take a few seconds today into tomorrow, 749 to sunset time for 
for today and tomorrow. So 13 hours, 29 minutes of daylight today, and just about 13 hours, 28 plus minutes, a few seconds added on to there for tomorrow as we lose daylight in the Mid-South. 78 the low temperature yesterday, 90 the high, and 73 and 92 is where we should be for this time of the year. 104 the record high set back in 2007, and 2004 a bit of a chill, 56 degrees in the Mid-South. We managed to pick up about two tenths of an inch of rainfall yesterday. That gets us out of the dry month that we were having. We had a very dry month in the Mid-South area. Yesterday was the first amount of rainfall that we have seen in the Mid-South for the entire month. Almost two weeks have gone by without getting anything in the way of rainfall. So it's very nice to have some rainfall back in the picture, but we're still behind by almost an inch in a, for the year by 10 and a half inches. Throughout the rest of the day, you can see better chances of rain on the left-hand side, western areas of the viewing area, west of the Mississippi River. River. That's where the heaviest rainfall will be. Now, not much expected into the rest of the Mid-South until we get into later on this afternoon. As we head into around later this afternoon, watch this area right here, and you'll see again the potential for anything involving rainfall really start to increase as we go toward News Channel 3 at 5, 60 minutes at 6 later on tonight. And isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms remain in the forecast as we go throughout the afternoon, evening, and overnight hours. Would not be surprised to hear some rumbles of thunder as we get into early Monday morning, but those will be very isolated in nature. Still some shower potential out there for traveling to various parts of the Mid-South. It'll be this way throughout the next several days. This is the way the forecast is going to pan out. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s for highs, isolated showers, maybe a rumble of thunder in the morning, better chances of showers and thunderstorms toward afternoon and evening as the daytime heat makes the atmosphere more unstable. And that, that pattern will continue across much of the area as the moisture remains in place, the heat starts the day, showers and thunderstorms going, and not really much change expected anytime soon as we go toward the 10-day forecast. So unless something radically changes, this pattern is going to be sticking around for quite some time and just does not look like anything is going to be changing too much. Heading to take their walk to the duck uh, fountain in the lobby or back up to the Duck Palace on the roof, heading to the Peabody Hotel in downtown Memphis. Take the umbrella just in case showers and maybe some thunderstorms out there and numbers will be back in the mid to upper 80s today. That doesn't seem hot, but when you throw in all that Memphis humidity, it's going to be pretty doggone steamy out there. So please keep that in mind if you are going to be heading downtown to talk to our fine feathered friends. Tune in on for the complete forecast on the EAB network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. We'll keep you updated on that. Keep it tuned to AM730 for early morning sports chat and news on Talk Back Live right after Memphis in the morning. Tune in on Tuesday and I'll be a guest on Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh. This will be a great opportunity to learn more about what the forecast is going on, call in with questions and we'll talk about safety at large sports venues. It's very difficult to get 100,000 people to hide out in the concourse under a stadium when there's severe weather around. So what do you do? And more importantly, does your sporting event area have a plan in place? If they don't, now's the time to find out. We'll talk more about that type of safety coming up on Tuesday morning at just about 8 o'clock, and that'll be featured again on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio early on Tuesday morning with Bob and Josh. But you can get my forecast throughout the rest of the week available Monday through Friday on AM 730 Memphis in the morning and Talk Back Live. Once again, flash flood watches remain in effect for a good portion of the north central Arkansas, southeast Missouri area, so please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing any traveling in and around this location. This could be a problem. It could be life-threatening. That's how bad it is when you get three to six inches of rainfall. That water's got to go someplace, and sometimes it can take out roadways. It'll cover over roadways. Never, ever, ever, ever drive across a flooded roadway. You don't know if the roadway is still there, you can't see what's floating by, and you don't know how fast that water is or how deep it is. It only takes about six inches to a foot of rainfall to sweep a car, even an SUV, a large one, off of a roadway, and we're talking about serious life-threatening mistake there, so please just don't do it. Just stop driving across those type of roadways. It could be the last mistake you ever make, so let's try to avoid that if at all possible. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on the flash flooding potential west of us and your complete forecast coming up later on tonight on News Channel 3 at 5. Questions, concerns, ideas, email me, austin.onic at wreg.com for more information on that. That's a wrap for this edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of Sunday.